First at four big changes are coming to the foster care system in Bear County. Family Tapestry will take the lead to transition kids into the homes and services they need with the goal of keeping them in Bear County. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Zuko explains. This is a really big deal because this center and this process give us the chance to take ownership as a community of how we want Bear County kids to be cared for. This room was set up with a specific boy in mind. Each toy and outfit is meant to make him feel at home. He's one of at least 12 kids Family Tapestry took in only hours into the first day of community-based care. You've just been removed from your home because of abuse, abandonment, and neglect. And regardless of how bad the situations might have been, that's still your family and that's all you know. And you're being removed from, from them and coming to a place where you don't know anyone, you don't know where you are, and you don't know what's going to happen to you. The new community-based care system means when family protection Protective Services removes a child from an unsafe home in Bear County. Bear County nonprofits and agencies will take care of them and hopefully place them with Bear County families. It's aimed at keeping kids in a city they recognize and hopefully in schools they're used to. The state contracts with nonprofits for Bear County, the Children's Shelter which built this space with the help of donations. This space is already helping kids transition, but Children's Shelter still needs families to sign up to foster kids or offer occasional babysitting for families who foster. Instead of that child going with a caseworker either back to the DFPS office or going to uh, in, in the, go, be in the backseat of a car and have to park in a parking lot to enter their information into the system, those children who've just been newly removed will come to the Family Tapestry to our placement center and here then we'll begin looking for a placement for them. One way to get more of the community involved in caring for kids. And all of this is in addition to the services the Children's Shelter already provides. Reporting from Northwest San Antonio, Erica Zuko, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.